Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting East Coast Volkswagen. And I'm checking out a 2018 Volkswagen Atlas in the launch edition. So this is a temporary or short-lived trim level that gives you a good mix of features and at an affordable price. So this will not be available forever. So this is a time to check it out right now. So it has a lot of the same features that the other models have, but uh, let's look here in the front. It has a full LED headlight system here for your high and your low beams and check it out. Your, high, your low beams are there at the top and then your high beams there at the bottom, all in the little reflector housings. Then it has the LED turn signal. You have a combination of chrome and flat black grill here in the center. Eighteen inch alloy wheels painted silver with four wheel disc brakes with ventilated disc brakes on all four wheels. Have some privacy glass there in the back for all the passengers. Turn signal also has a little indicator there on the side. So let's go ahead and take a look in here. Here's the inside of the passenger door. Soft to the touch materials around your arm. Cloth material right in here that's soft. It's even soft right up in here as well. And this one has like a brushed a brushed aluminum or brushed metallic look here as the accent. Now I have a full video on the SEL. You can check that out on my channel. I'll leave a link to it. There's a uh, large pocket there at the bottom. Here's your, your threshold with a plastic seal plate, manually adjusted seats here on the passenger side, quilted cloth seats, really nice looking too. Then you have that brushed uh, metallic accent here in the center, soft to the touch dash, lockable glove compartment. It has an optical drive in here as well with an SD card reader. Look at the leg room. Now this vehicle is definitely a leader in leg room and, and just general space. So you can see here on the front, tons of leg room there's no tapering it just goes straight out the seat is quite a ways off the floor so feels like you're sitting in a chair and this one has the panoramic sunroof that's part of the launch package too so that's nice you see it has the uh, the roof rails there All right, here's the back door. Let's take a look soft to the touch right in here, the cloth, and then it has a rubbery type soft armrest. Has a shelf right in here, which is nice, and there as well, and a bottle holder. Check out all the leg room. I mean, it is impressive how much space you have in this vehicle. You have the quilted seats back here. Rear climate control. So it has a whole tri-zone going on. You have a 12 volt power supply down there below. These seats tilt forward. So that way you can access the, uh, the third row, but also you can leave a car seat in place while you do it. It's pretty neat. Both the seats do that. It's a 60-40 split. All right, so the third row has plenty of room and in my other video I actually get in the back and demonstrate all that stuff in the SEL video. Like I said, I'll leave a link, but check it out. You have the quilted seats back here. They fold down in a 50-50 split fashion. Have a little storage spot, cup holders, all that. Fuel door here on the passenger side. 
opens up. It has a pretty traditional cap with a little tether here, but it has a post that sticks out the end of that, and you can just kind of prop it right up there so that way it gets out of the way while you're pumping gas. All right, looking at the back of the vehicle, has a little tiny antenna on the top. That's pretty neat. It's in a gloss black. Has a third brake light right there at the top on the uh, the spoiler, little spoiler there at the top of the glass. Has a wiper. There's the tail lights, powered by standard bulbs. Backup camera is right here in the center position. Has the dual exhaust tips. All right, let's open it up. Little button under here releases it. Just kind of lifts it up a little ways and it goes the rest of the way up by itself. So if you're utilizing all the passenger space, you still have this much cargo space. And I'll leave all the measurements and all that stuff in the description, but just to give you a visual reference here, pretty good amount of space, isn't it? Has a little roadside assistance kit over here in this bag, storage space, place for tie downs and net pockets and all that stuff. This is part of, this part is part of the cargo protection system. Uh, these little dividers have Velcro on them and you can stick them down on this mat and form a little place to put some stuff to keep it from sliding around. This little hanger that pops out. There's a light on both sides here and on this side. I'd love to be able to do a night video, but I hadn't had an opportunity yet. Let's lift this up, see what's in here. So there's your tools for your spare tire there on the right, a little bit of storage space around here. And as I demonstrated in the other video, this unscrews and the spare tire is just below this. But this is nice to have a little storage space in here. Okay, so here's the uh, floor space in front of the driver's seat. The floor mat hooks in place, absolutely snaps in place. These little snaps right here, it's real easy to put in and remove. There's your accelerator and brake pedal. Massive footrest here on the left side. So let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. Just want to mention that the way this releases, when you shut the door, the sh door actually covers it so you can't release the hood accidentally. It's real easy to lift the hood. There's a latch right here in the center. You just lift it up and like literally takes no effort to make it go the rest of the way. Very, very little effort. So you can actually see the latch here, right there. Okay, so here's the engine compartment. It has an insulated firewall with a shield portion as well there in the center. There's the battery, it's insulated as well. It has a, the same 3.6 liter V6, narrow angle V6, paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission. It's the same one as the other Atlas trim levels. Inside of the driver's side door is just like the other side, except for it has a few more buttons. One touch up and down power windows. We can go ahead and roll them up, one touch, one touch down. And all of them are like that, one touch down. So that back one there, you can see I'm rolling it up and down with one touch. Side mirrors are adjusted here. So you just pick a side by turning it and you can adjust it with like a little joystick. All right. So the driver's seat is manual as well, except for it has a height adjuster helps out with that to give you a little bit of adjust your seating position as you're driving here's your headlight switch so you have on parking light and off and it has a tilt and a telescoping steering column so you can tilt it or you can pull it out and it goes quite a ways too okay let's take a look on the inside checking it out
let's go ahead and start well we'll start with my leg room it's ridiculous amount of leg room here i mean i have the seat so far back i can't even touch anything and it's just it really makes me feel like a small person uh when i put the seat all the way back i just feel like a little kid or something sitting in this vehicle because there's so much space okay so steering wheel it's a synthetic material with a simulated wood grain or not wood grain i'm sorry uh, leather texturing and it has a little bit of a flat bottom portion there with some grips here on the side and it's really comfortable and soft to the touch has a good thickness and it's a little bit uh, not perfectly round i mean it has like this contours to your hand type shape so it's not like a round steering wheel per se all right so your cruise control is here on the left side with your volume control for your radio on the right side you can change the your audio tracks or presets here and then these uh, this is your voice recognition and your bluetooth controls and then you have some controls for the screen which i'll show you in a second windshield wiper controls for your front and rear on this side and your turn signal switch is here as, long, as well as your dimmer switch for your high beams. Okay, so looking at the gauges here, you have the RPMs there on the left with the engine coolant temperature and on the right is your speedometer and your fuel gauge. So right here in the center, we have a little screen giving you some more information. It has the outside temperature, the miles, the trip, clock, what gear you're in, and this is telling us that the stop-start feature is deactivated right now. Okay, so right in the middle, though, we have the digital speedometer, but we can change that and we can get some more information using these buttons here. So we have these um, cycle left and right for different screens. You can make selections here and hit OK. All right, so uh, right now, I'm gonna just go left and right just to show you we're part of this menu system. Right now we're in the driving data and the selection I have is the digital speedometer, but I can scroll down and get some more information. Okay, see all these little tabs that pop up? All that stuff, even the oil temperature, nice. And then it goes back to digital speedometer. Scrolling to the right, go to the next tab, we have the audio, just kind of showing you what the radio is doing, but also now I can go up and down and change the radio stations. See that? All right, scrolling to the right again, this is your telephone. Uh, there's no phone paired, but you'll have information regarding that once it's paired. Vehicle status. This is uh, letting you know what's going on as far as uh, the engine on due to system power needs. So uh, it has a stop-start feature, and this is just letting you know what's going on with that. Driving data. I already saw that. Okay. So that's basically, it go, scrolls through. So audio telephone, vehicle status, and driving data. That will probably be my uh, my default screen there is the digital, you know, speedometer. That's nice. All right. Okay, so this has a physical key. So you can, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So you can have the lock and unlock buttons, the ability to unlock the trunk, and a panic button. and has a switchblade key. So it pops out and starting it up is just like a regular vehicle. Like so. All right, has a storage pocket there at the very top. Okay, so here's your touch screen and it has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto capabilities um, and your App Connect button. Let's look at the radio. So you can have your presets there. It also has uh, gesture control, so just kind of leave it alone for a second. As I wave my hand close to it, pops up these right here, and I can ch uh, change the view. Now playing radio text. Let's go to radio text. So it's waiting for that. Now playing, just kind of see what's going on. I'll give you a little image on certain screens. We can change the band to satellite radio. Maybe that'll help out a little bit. So all of your, your different uh, information there at the bottom. You can go to media, and once you 
plug in a or some kind of device or connect something and start playing something, you'll have the different options here. You'll be able to select through a CD, SD card, USB, and Bluetooth. And remember, the optical drive was in the glove compartment. There's the phone button. We don't have a phone paired, but there's the screen for it. And then the voice recognition. Help. Which topic do you need help with? Radio. You can say, listen to radio or frequency, followed by a frequency. Cancel. Cancel. Okay, this is just going to give you an idea of the voice recognition there. Go to the sound. We can adjust the sound, the volume, bass, equalizer, that kind of stuff. We can also turn off the touch touch screen tone if we want. Have a car screen. So this kind of gives us some information, what's been going on and all that stuff. And we go to this menu right here, and then it shows the all the uh, actual icons that we can go straight into. We can also view images on the screen, which is nice. That's pretty cool. Then we can go into setup, and this is where we can uh, adjust things. Now it also has a volume knob, and tune through the stations. Pretty traditional there, keeping maintaining that. Your climate control is down here, so your temperature, fan speed, where you want the air to blow. Pretty traditional climate control. You can recirculate the air. You have your defroster. So this is your start-stop feature. You can turn that off when you get in the vehicle. Otherwise, it'll just be default on. And there's your four-way flashers. There's a USB port down in here. This is where you would connect your uh, device for the Apple CarPlay or just charging the device. And then you have a 12 volt power supply right in here. A little rubber floor in this, this little compartment so you can put your cell phone or whatever in there and it's not gonna slide around as much. Cup holders with a open spot in the middle. A little tray right there. Electronic parking brake. So let's go ahead and Pull that up and it'll give you an indicator that it's on. Push it down to release as long as you have your foot on the brake. So here's your shifter. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. Check out the backup camera. Really nice clarity on the backup camera. It also has the back, the, uh, the uh, guidelines that are active. So as I turn a steering wheel, so they will move. So I can go really far. Kind of gives us an estimated trajectory as we're backing up. All right, continuing on, there's neutral, there's drive. Now, if we go down again, it's gonna put in, this, in sport mode. If we go again, down, it's gonna put us back in drive. And you'll know if you're in sport mode, cause it'll show up in here in the co top corner, watch that. So I'm gonna kinda bump it down, see sport mode. Bump it in, again, drive. If I wanna manually shift the gears, I just push it to the right, now I can use it like a ratchet shifter and change to the gear, uh, eight gear ratios. Check out this large rest right here. So we have a soft to the touch material, your armrest, and it's big enough to share with your passenger. And it lifts up. And it has this massive cargo space for putting a bunch of junk in here cluttering it up, but that's what it's used for, so. I don't see any ports or anything in there, but it does have a, like a uh, felt lining bottom to it. And wires can kind of go in and out of this little portion right here. Um, there's no ports in there, but I guess it's designed for when a port is in there. All right, so it has a manual day and night mode for your rear view mirror. Tap lights, rear lights. You can have the lights turn on with the door. Home link garage door opener controls are here. 
This is for your sunroof shade, and this is for your sunroof. We'll get to that in a second. So you have a mirror with a light that turns on as you open it up. A little clip right there, that's handy. Same thing on the other side, basically. And this shade also uh, extends out, so you can slide it out like so, so you can get the, uh, the right position. Okay, sunroof time. So this one has the massive panoramic sunroof. Look at that. It goes way back there. So let's go ahead and open up the shade by pushing that button. Nice and smooth going back. Feeling fancier every second at how smooth it is. And look how huge that is. So the back portion is a fixed glass. The front portion is the one that moves. So you have a little vent, or you can push it back, like so. Open it up. All right, so that's as far back as it goes, which is plenty. I mean, lots and lots of uh, space there. Let's go ahead and push it forward. And we can close the shade. Now you notice the shade doesn't block 100% of the light, but almost all of it. You can still see a little bit of light peeking through. Kind of looks pretty cool though. Okay, so let's look at the visibility in the back. So lots of good visibility back there. The headrests don't really get in the way. They actually line up the pillars quite well. And you have a lot of windows to look out of. Of course, you got the backup camera helping out, but just in general, you can see quite well, I think. Okay, so this has been the 2018 Atlas Volkswagen Atlas in the launch temporary top secret trim level. Not a lot of people know about it, but uh, right in here, I forgot to show you this little storage, storage pocket here. But uh, but yeah, it's a it's a from what I understand, it's a temporary trim level just to kind of launch the uh, this vehicle into the market and give you a kind of balance of features and price. So it can be had in the, I think it's the middle to low 30s somewhere in there. But uh, but yeah, awesome. So thank you for watching. Thank you to East Coast Volkswagen here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Let me know what you think of the vehicle. Let me know what you think of the video itself and if it's been useful. So thanks again. I'll see you next time.